All right, everybody, welcome back. I am on a short field landing approach. I'm in the pattern. Gonna make a radio call here. More traffic, two, three, and a four, right down on the runway four. Okay, I've got one notch of flaps. I got about 2,000 RPM with my power. And we should settle in to 80 miles per hour for our downwind. Nice, slow speed, gives you plenty of time to think about things. and get everything nice and trimmed up so I can do other tasks without thinking about it much. You'll see this airspeed decay down to 80. It's because I already set everything up in the airplane, okay? You set it, you forget it, it's done. All right, so the short field landing is we approach at a slightly slower airspeed and we're emulating that we're landing at a short field, okay? I'm gonna show you guys an actual short field at a different time. For the sake of efficiency, we're just working at my home airport today. So we're emulating a short field. The goal, and actually the testing standard, is to approach at that slower speed and then uh, land at the marker touchdown zone plus 200 feet. Okay, there's a cliff right there and you can't land before that and then you have 200 feet after that. And then we do simulated max braking, okay? We're simulating that we're landing at a very, very short airport, maybe even a shorter airport than we would usually take off from or that we could take off from. All right, so I'm gonna be my touchdown point now. That doesn't really matter. I'm gonna stay right here until I turn my base leg. That just gives me a lot of extra energy. That's how I do it. You guys can uh, can start reducing your power at the uh, beam the touchdown point. So, okay, I got carb heat, gas, undercarriage, just fixed gear down a lot. Mixture is full rich, prop, seatbelt switches. We're about to that base leg now. Homer traffic, two, three, and a four, right base, one by four, Homer. Reducing that power down. 1500 works pretty well, I found, as a target. Okay, but I'm not letting that nose drop down. I have back pressure on my yoke right now. I'm gonna retrim. And as I come around and straighten out here, I am going to add my next notch of flaps and analyze my energy situation. I'm a little fast, so I'll pull back that power a little bit more. I'm checking my final, make sure no one's landing, someone that wasn't announcing. And my power's idle now, but I'm just letting that speed come down, watching things, especially on this base to final turn. I've got plenty of energy, staying nice and coordinated. Former traffic, keep the uniform, final runway four. And coming around to line up nice and smooth, nothing too fancy, okay? Next notch of flaps. Be careful doing that in the turn. You need to know what you're doing if you add a notch of flaps in the turn. Okay, same deal. I've got my target this time. On my normal landing, I was a little soft on that target. I'm going to nail this target this time, okay? Right on those markers. That's the plan. Short field, and then we'll do simulated max braking. This is looking nice. I'm aiming a little bit before my landing markers. Again, hands off flying. Look at this. I'm not doing anything. Nice, calm day today. But still, you guys shouldn't be fighting the airplane, okay? Coming down here, getting rid of that energy. And all the way out. And simulated max braking, okay? Mostly aerodynamic. And you could romp on the brakes, but you don't need to romp on the brakes, okay? So that is a short field landing. All right, subscribe, like, share. That is it for the short field. I'm gonna set up for a soft field takeoff and I'll see you guys on that video. Till next time, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.